guys, it's me, Jennifer, from Adored Signature Hand Tied Hair Extensions. I am showing you this shampoo on this client. She has three rows of beach wave texture in her hair. And the reason why I'm showing this is because I wanted to demonstrate for those of us who color the extensions on the head or if you are doing a blowout and you need to shampoo your client. You want to make sure that the shampoo bowl is properly adjusted so that there is a long stretch between the top of their head and the bottom of the bowl. If the bowl is angled down and the client's hair is being rinsed and swirled in a circle, you're going to create matting on the hair within those wefts. I feel like with the textured extensions, this is more likely to happen because they're already textured with waves and twists and turns in them. And our hair is not stiff like hair from China, so it doesn't just lay straight. And I'm sure this probably happens with hair from China too. But you'll also notice that when I'm rinsing, I'm pulling this hair off to the side to rinse and give even more length between the hair and the bottom of the bowl where the hair could potentially twist and turn and turn into a tangled mat. Her extensions are 22 inches long, so they're super long. And if I just left them in the bowl, they would swirl and they would get super tangled. And I do know this from experience. I had a client who had a neck ache one day. I colored her extensions first and then we went over to the bowl to rinse them out and she kept scooching down lower and lower. And then the extensions were swirling and swirling and I didn't have the opportunity with the way that the bowl was to move the hair over to the side like you see me doing as I'm rinsing. And ultimately when I was done, I had to remove the bottom row of extensions and replace with new. I do not wanna see this happen to any of you I have gotten emails in the past where a stylist has done the same thing and it has created a bunch of problems. So watch the technique within this video of how I pull the hair off to the side to rinse it. I don't think it's brain surgery, obviously. Um, it's a simple technique to save you a lot of trouble in the future if you do decide to color the extensions after they are in the hair or just to do a blowout. So I hope this helps you all. I hope these tidbits are good. Stretch out their neck, length, put the bowl up at the highest height that it can be at if it's adjustable and um, lengthen out that hair as much as possible so it does not swirl in the bowl because it does not leave for a happy ending, I must say. I hope you all are having a great week. Talk to you soon.